Hey everybody, today's question of the day. How do you get velvet off of antlers that are already hard when you shoot a buck that's in velvet? I've never done it before, so we're gonna try it today. This is unscripted. We're gonna give it a shot and see how it works. Ma'am, ma'am. I've hunted in Wyoming the past 10 years, many times. And although I've shot bucks that had have parts of velvet on their antlers, I've never shot one full velvet. One thing I do know in talking to guys is they say take extra care when handling velvet antlers. Velvet antlers carry a lot of bacteria and you can get really sick from handling it. I've known guys that have landed in the hospital with high fevers for several days because of it. So I'm gonna take extra precautions because I am a precautionary person. I got rubber gloves. I'm gonna try not to handle the velvet as much as possible, but I'm gonna try to strip it off and let's see how it goes. Another tip I've been given over the years by guys that say if you have one that's close to peeling, take that rack and submerge it in water overnight. That's going to help get the velvet off. That's what they tell me. I happen to have a cow tank here. I filled it halfway full of water last night, stuck the antlers in there about 14 hours ago, and we're going to give it a shot. Okay, when I came back on the plane last night, yesterday afternoon, I had packed this in my crossbow case and it got so hot. It was 92 degrees yesterday. And when I pulled that, when I got the luggage from the airport, it was super hot in there and it actually was starting to come off a little bit. You can see this is really cool. Look at that, it's completely white antler. And the velvet itself, it almost looks like a deer hide. It's, it's skin, it's, it's just like a hide. It's skin with hair. Well, the first thing I'm going to try here is I'm going to just try to pull it off and see how that works. Oh, look at that. It's coming. Look at this. It's coming right off. It's like taking a sock off. This is really amazing. I've never seen this before. Look at this. I've never... It definitely smells. They eat that. A lot of trace nutrients in there for a deer. It's, it smells gross, but that's real life. I mean, you can see the, uh, the blood coming right off as that antler hardened. That's one side. Now look how white that is. That's what the antler looks like. Real antler is bone white. And how bucks get them dark, it's from what they're rubbing on. The trees, you know, the sap in the trees. That's what gives the antler its color. But right when that velvet comes off, it's, you can see it right there, it's pure white. It hangs down in their face like that, drives them nuts. Bees and flies get in that. It's gotta be a miserable, well, we, we've actually seen it. It's a miserable experience for a deer and it's very stressful. It can take them several hours to get it off, but they try to get it off as soon as possible. Just gotta spray that off and he's ready to mount. Getting velvet off a rack is not that hard. 